And it is a geocaching. I'm obsessed with geocaching. You guys ever, anybody here ever done this? Yeah. Seattle, Seattle's sort of like geocaching central. The company that runs the universe of geocaching is like, they used to be like one street down from here. Now they're in Fremont. Okay. It's a, it's a map related pastime. I was always sort of a geography nerd as a kid. Right. And I was writing this book about maps and uh, somebody clued me into this thing called geocaching. Right. It's a treasure hunt based on based on GPS, based on the talking voice in your dashboard that tells you you've made a wrong turn. Okay, but it's actual coordinates, not just on the corner of Elm and 12th. Right. What if instead of making you feel bad, that lady was like leading you on a merry chase oh, through the, the, the through yeah. the back streets and forest? And of you your, don't just uh, have to follow the blue line. You have to actually hit hit the button to look at the whole picture. Right. Someone, um, so someone has hidden something. Something. At minimum, it's a, it's a contain a small container with a log, a paper log you could sign your name on. Okay. And it's hidden somewhere in the universe. There's like two million of these now, I think. And all you have is a latitude and a longitude. And is it you say that there's a company that started doing this as a thing? Well, or? they they manage the website. It's pretty much you know it's it's essentially open source. Some guy in Oregon just invented this one day. It's like okay. Clinton decrypted GPS. Suddenly anybody in the world can ha ask a satellite where they are to within like three feet which is some totally new thing. Wow. And this guy the next day goes out and buries this thing in the woods and, and posts, like on Usenet, he posts the coordinates and says, hey, go find my, uh, my trash can. Okay. And this is, this is how geocaching starts, some weirdo in Portland. Oh, that had to be Portland. There's some <laughs> yeah, bearded, shocker. The bearded youth movement. Uh, what year was that? Uh, Clinton era, late Clinton era, so 99, I think. Okay, okay, late 90s. Uh, just some dude. Just some dude, and it catches on. And so, and now there's a company in Seattle that actually, you know, runs the website and says, right. you know, you, you ping them and say, here, here, here's where I am, and it tells you, oh, there's 13 geocaches within, oh, you know, cool. 2,000 feet of you or something, right. you know, it's because now they're omnipresent. It used to be, you'd have to go to some amazing beauty spot, you know, that it would... Lead you and a merry every, chase through Hill and Dale. And, and now, everybody's pretty cool about it, right? It's been, it's a, like, is it, and is it geocaching.com or .net or jot? Yeah, it's just geocaching.com. At AOL.com. Yeah. What's yeah. <laughs> that's it's an angel fire site, I think. <laughs> so, and, and it can be anything. It'd just be like, this is my, here's a, Free Pez dispenser. Sometimes it's very. Sometimes it's very simple. You know, it's uh, it's just a little Tupperware hidden in the woods. Okay. Which is fun. You're using this, you know, multi-billion-dollar array of military satellites. Right. To do what? To find a, a little Tupperware that somebody's hidden in the woods. And and often there will be you can you can swap like trinkets. You'll open it up and there'll be not just a log design, but also like Happy Meal toys or something. Okay. So it's great for kids. You know, my kids are obsessed with it because it's actually like a treasure hunt from a from a Hardy Boys book or something, but. In real life, you know, right. with uh, so you can do it in anywhere in the world. Like if you happen to be in Rio de Janeiro, and if you ping their site, someone might have buried something. I have done that. My I was at Angkor Wat, and it turned out there was a geocache. In it, is that Vietnam or Cambodia? Cambodia, yeah. Like, All right. Like the cool falling apart one from the Laura Croft yeah. movie. Somebody has hidden. <laughs> somebody has hidden a geocache like in some. Which I mean, you're probably not supposed to do. It's like a UNESCO World Heritage site. Do not, yeah, yeah. Do not. It's not a construction site. Do not folks. hide Tupperware. Yeah, somewhere on the Parthenon. If you could <laughs> right. please uh, <laughs> try not to. But they're ubiquitous. Yeah, no matter yeah. where you are. Like often, if I'm in a hotel somewhere with an hour to kill, I'll be like, "Where's the nearest geocache?" And it'll always just be. Just down the street, there's, oh, a, there's awesome. a hidden treasure. That's, you know what, uh, now I want there to be like the, the wall in Jerusalem. Uh, <laughs> that's another inappropriate place. Now I want, just want to think of inappropriate places. 9-11, the ground zero. Uh, it's, a, it's a very respectful. It's a respectful place. I'm going to bury a vial of tears. Um, never forget, never forget the coordinates. <laughs> <laughs> 